हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर ट्रिक्स डू यू नो आई मीन द ट्रिक्स थ्रू विच यू कैन फाइंड द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी नंबर वेरी क्विकली वेरी रिसेंटली आई पोस्टेड वन वीडियो एंड दैट प्रूव टू बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ यू बिकॉज आई गॉट सच लवली कमेंट्स फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू सो वॉच दिस ट्रिक नाउ दिस इज समथिंग एक्सक्लूसिव विच आई एम पुटिंग अप ऑन द चैनल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम and uh, you need to subscribe the channel right so if you have not subscribed it click the subscribe button and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all these notifications and you don't miss out on any fun which is being uploaded on the channel so look at the video here the title says it all you can find the square of any number between 70 and 130 now why did i take these Uh, boundaries 70 and 130 you will know very soon when you understand the trick given here and if you want a complete compilation of these short tricks the details are written here you can send me a message on whatsapp on this number i'll tell you but be sure that you are willing to invest little bit on your education okay so let's see the first question in hand let's take the square of 76 and try to understand how this trick will work As you can see, this seventy-six is how much less than hundred? It is twenty-four, right? So I am writing a twenty-four itself. So let's have hundred minus seventy-six, and that gives us a twenty-four. And when you get this twenty-four, you should know that the square of twenty-four is five hundred and seventy-six. I keep on telling to my students, you should know squares up to thirty, and that is why I have taken this limit. Thirty less than hundred is seventy, because Uh, remembering the squares beyond 30 is a difficult task that is the reason so 24 square is 576 i'll come back to this later now this number 76 and the deficit that is 24 if you take the difference of these two numbers you will get what this is 2 and 5 52 right just write this 52 and write this number 576 retain two digits from here And carry forward the tens, hundreds place five. So fifty-two plus five is fifty-seven. And now pick up the calculators and check: is the square of seventy-six five seven seven six? I think you will be surprised. So let's have another example: eighty-three square. So hundred minus right. So I have to do hundred minus eighty-three. That gives me seventeen. And now you will see how you know you develop speed when you start practicing these questions. So 17. Now 17 square is 289. It's a three-digit number. So I leave it here as of now. And now these two numbers just subtract 83 and minus 17. So how much is that? 83 minus 17 gives you 66, right? And now write 66. Write 289. Retain the 89. Carry forward this two. So 68. So 6889 is the Answer. Now you can see I have consumed less time, and most of this is mental maths. This is not to be written. Okay. Let's have a number in nineties now. Can we do ninety-four square? So again, do the same thing. See, I'll increase the speed now. Hundred minus ninety-four is six, and six square is thirty-six. It is a two-digit number. Makes it easier for me. Now subtract like this. Ninety-four minus six is eighty-eight. So where is the answer? Eighty-eight. And thirty-six is a two-digit number. No carry, nothing. Eight eight three six is the square of ninety-four. Now pick up the calculator and check all these. If you get it right, we can move on to the numbers which are more than one hundred. Let's see this. The first number I am going to take up is one hundred and eight square. So you can see here, this is hundred and eight, right? So whenever you have a number which is more than hundred, how much is 108 more than 100 it is 8 more than 100 right so i will add that excess to the number itself so 108 plus 8 that gives me 116 now this forms the first part and the second part is this excess quantity square that is 64 and just write them together 116 and 64 since we have two digits here So the answer is direct. One one six six four is the square of hundred and eight. Suppose we get three digits here, retain two digits and carry forward the hundreds place. Okay. So let's take a question 
where probably we have to uh, do some carry forward. So let's do 113 square. So I told you the same number plus the excess over 100. This is 13. So how much is this? This is 126. Now this forms the first part. And the excess is 13, right? So 13 square we all know is 169. So now you have to write this square number later and the first number here 126 and 169. Retain two digits, carry forward the hundreds place, so 126 becomes 127 and that gives you the square of 113. Likewise, you can take one more example 124 square. So 124 and the excess 24 gives you 148. That will be my first part. And excess is 24, so 24 square is 576. This is my second part. Just write them together 148 and 576. Retain the 76, carry forward the 5. 148 plus 5 is 153. And there we go. The square of 124 is 15376. So you can go on and on and try these things, you know, these things are exclusive things which are put on the channel, especially for maths lovers. You can do some research how this method works and can you do it beyond 130? If you try to do that, you should know the squares of numbers beyond 30. So if you know 31 to 40 squares, you can do it up to 140 also. If you know uh, up to 40 square, you can do up to 60 also. So that's how it works. You know, if you are good in basic maths, the higher match is not going to trouble you. So friends, if you like this video of squaring, do share it with all your friends. That's really important. And I hope you have subscribed the channel by now and you must be get, getting benefit out of all these lovely mathematics tricks which we have been posting. So practice this and let me know in the comments, did it benefit you? All the best.